Welcome back to the Buffalo Main Event. Brad Ryder along with Bob Gaughan. Today's guest is our good friend, Kevin Sylvester, who you may know from such games as 2-1, to 3-2, to 3-1. Kevin, is this team ever going to score again? Uh, yes, I can guarantee that. They will score again. Promise? Uh, I do promise they will <laughs> score again. It's, it's been surprising, the struggles they've had putting the puck in the net. Well, you look at a team, though, the scoring chances have been there. So when you outshoot a team 45-25 to 25 and still lose the game, what do you think you, you say to the team? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, because you look at some of the chances they had, too. I mean, you can have a scoring chance where you're just, you know, shooting the guy's chest. And certainly some of those shots on goal that they had, you know, were that, all right, just get a shot on that. Maybe that goaltender will give up the rebound. And where you see a lot of goals scored now in the league, uh, you know, if it's not with a man advantage, it's on a rebound and, and a tap and a lot of traffic in front of that as teams are collapsing there. But they had some good opportunities that in the past, you know, they bury in, yeah, you know, you know, from playing any sport, uh, you know, from playing golf, if you don't feel confident with that club in your hand, you're not going to put the best swing on it. You try to, you know, guide the ball, if you will, and these guys, you know, maybe trying to guide the puck instead of just saying, all right, I'm just going to shoot it how I normally do, and, and it'll go in. So I think there's where some of the frustration lies with them, and I think, you know, grip, they, they always say gripping it too tight, and I think they're certainly doing that. I, I like a lot of what Lindy Ruff is saying, though. He comes out of these games and basically looks at it and goes, we won. I mean, we didn't win, but we right. won. We're doing things right. They're going to go in. We know these guys are capable of scoring. I, I think, obviously, he's the right guy to lead them. He's been there for so long, but I think he's got the right attitude. I, I think so, too, because as, as a coach, I mean, when a team does everything you ask of them except get the result that should come from doing what you're, you know, when your coach asks you to go out there, I want you to work hard, you know, let's cycle the puck, throw it to the front of the net, get some shots on goal, and you do all that and it doesn't go in, well, what more can he say except – try to eliminate their odd man rushes, which, which they did. I mean, defensively, they did a nice job in, in the last few games of limiting the odd man rushes in the other direction, you know, towards Ryan Miller. And it just so happens that, you know, they score on, you know, a couple of those opportunities, which yeah, you should be okay giving up a goal or two. I mean, Miller's played certainly well, but the chances they've got, they should be able to score three goals or such. So, yeah, Lenny Ruff does have the right approach with it uh, for sure. It's almost like they need a goal like Stafford scored. Um, I think it was in Florida when the puck went up uh, and hit the goaltender Vokun and went in. You need a fluky goal like that to kind of break you out of it. Certainly Thomas Vanek needs one of those uh, to go in off his rear end or something <laughs> you know, to break him out of the slump. You talk about the two stars, or at least Vanek, Max, both struggling. What do you do when your stars are struggling? What do you think Lindy well, should do? I think uh, you know, Lindy's done a couple things already. Uh, you know, he skipped a shift for Vanek uh, a couple weeks ago, and he, he picked up. It's kind of like, okay. And part of that is not just, hey, you're not playing well, we're going to sit you. Part of it is you sit back and you watch what's going on, and you can say, oh, I, I see what's happening here. So you can understand the game a little bit better, and Vanek went and played better than that. You know, part of it is, too, changing the lines up, seeing if you got a little different chemistry. I mean, every team does that in the league. They'll, they'll switch it up every now and then. And, uh, you know, he sat max for the third period. Uh, in the last game, and, and what more of a message can you send than not playing? I think that's the big one. Let's go back to Vanek. Uh, the numbers aren't there yet. I think the effort is, and I think Lindy Ruff has talked about that as well. He's right near where he needs to be. Again, we're back to the results just not coming through. How's he handling himself? I mean, you're around these guys quite a bit. It, it, he seems a little fragile, and, and he seems like the kind of guy who can have this sort of thing hurt him. Well, let's look at some of the... Uh, outside factors, you know, he, he's got a large contract. He, he's the man all of a sudden. The money dictates that he's the man. You call him $10 million you know, big, Kevin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's the man. He's the top goal scorer on the team. His play on the ice dictated him being the man. So teams are going to focus their defensive efforts around stopping him. He's only 23 years old also. I mean, think back to when you were 23. You thought you knew everything, but you didn't know anything, really. Uh, he's also, uh, you know, at home he's got a, a, a new baby. I mean, you're figuring that into your life, too. I mean, the whole package, that's a lot to put on somebody at once. However, you know, he signed up for it. So he's got to deal with that stuff. And Lindy did talk about, hey, i got to help him deal with that. And, and I, I think you'll see him progress here in December and, you know, through the rest of this month and then in December get better. And it seems like uh, goaltending is more and more important the Sabres, they got the ace in the hole, right, Ryan Miller? Well, the last couple of games, he's been the ace in the hole, but uh, earlier in the season, he was more like the six of spades in the hole. I, where do you, yeah. what do you think uh, about Ryan Miller, where he is right now? His game wasn't there beginning yeah. of the year. I, I think he would even tell you that. Um, you know, he was, 
you know, Ryan is the thinking man's goaltender. Uh, and with all the talk about the team not having leaders because Briere and Drury were gone and, and Teppo Newman in out with his heart surgery, and all the media talk about, well, the, the, it's Ryan Miller's team. You know, he's going to be like Brodeur. He's going to be the real captain without the C on there. And I, I think he felt a lot of that pressure, like, okay, i got to do all this stuff to justify what's happening here. And he didn't handle the pressure well. What do we know about Teppo Newman, by the way? Is he going to play for this team? Any, is there any word on him? I haven't heard his name. You're the first person to mention yeah, him to the, me the, in forever. The only, uh, from what I know, you know, his recovery is going well. I mean, first he's recovering from open heart surgery where they have to split open your rib cage. Take it there. By and, definition. Right. Yeah, right. Open, open your heart. Right. Right. Uh, but just think about, you know, what it, that entails and, you know, opening your rib cage and then putting it back together. You know, just the body in itself, I mean, just for the average person, they say it might take six months to a year just to, you know, be normal from surgery. And then you're talking about getting into hockey shape. So, uh, you know, best case scenario, he'd be back around March. Is it? Oh, just real quickly, we talk about panic. How close are we to panic mode <laughs> right well, now? As of today, uh, you know, as of today's show, the Sabres are five points out of the eighth spot in the Eastern Conference. That's not panic mode. Okay. Uh, they won the President's Trophy. Are they two points out of the last yeah. spot in the Eastern <laughs> yeah, Conference? Yeah, right, well, yeah. <laughs> they're there with Washington. <laughs> <laughs> but that shows you the parity in the league when you look yeah. at the bottom to the last playoff spot. So... Um, you, know, you know, it's not panic mode by now. Are they going to win the President's Trophy? No, but it happened one time in the 37 years anyway, right. so yeah. that was an unusually great season. You yeah. prefer to be like Ottawa, not do sure. so well and then came on the second half. I be, think there's a lot to be said be, for that. Be churning come playoff. It would be Edmonton uh, two yeah. years ago who yeah. just squeaked in the playoffs and went to the finals. All right, Kevin Sylvester, thanks for joining us. Appreciate Pleasure. it. I'm Brad Ryder along with Bob Gaughan. Buffalo Main Event continues in just a moment with our closing commentary.